Hey guys, it's Aaron. And today we're gonna to talk about setting up layout. So any of you've been following along with Beyond Desktop, these videos we're making, you'll notice that I'm trying to spend a little bit more time in layout and, and, and cover some of, not the basics, but just kind of coming up to speed on how to use layout to make great looking drawings. Um, I have not spent as much time in layout as I want, and I'm trying to spend more, and I wanna share with you guys what I'm learning as I do that. And one of the things that early on has become apparent to me is it's worth spending a couple of minutes to get all of your stuff in layout set up. So I'm talking about shortcuts, buttons, toolbars, the main for your workspace, actually setting up your workspace in layout. And I'm going to give my opinion on that right now. All right. So here's my workspace. Um, I have my, I just have a, a scene open on a model right here in the middle. So we're not, not even going to really get into this. What we're going to be looking at is all the rest of the stuff, all the parts and pieces around here. Um, so there's a lot less, as far as commands go, there's far less commands in layout than there are in SketchUp. So this static toolbar across the top kind of tends to be the only, only real UI I have as far as buttons go. It is editable. I can configure it. So this varies slightly depending if you're on uh, Windows or Mac, but you have the ability to customize toolbars and change what's up here. So like with SketchUp, I would rather use as many shortcuts as possible. So we're going to talk about shortcuts in just a minute. But there might be a couple things that I would put up here on the toolbar. So um, one of the ones that I've been using a ton lately is zoom to page. I use the shortcut key for it though, so I don't really see a reason to put this on there. Um, one of the, another, so, so we'll talk about that. We'll make sure, you know, this is one that I would tap on the keyboard rather than uh, using that. But something I do do a lot is when I start putting assets on the page, I right click and align them. So the ones that I see myself using the most often tend to be this uh, centering horizontally and vertically. So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna put a space right here. So I'll have my, my default commands and then a space. And then I'm gonna put horizontally center and vertically center. And that will keep me from having to select something, right click, go down to align, fly out align, and then click uh, those align or those, those specific things. I can just select select the items I have and boom, center them. I think that's gonna be helpful for me. There's a possibility once I use this a little bit, I may, you know what, I'm just gonna do it right now. I'm gonna put align centers vertically and assign centers horizontally up here as well. That way, if I do have a list of things, I can actually just say, you know, align up all these things rather than just get this thing in the middle. So. I think that's good for right now. Those those are the things I want. Um, yeah, for right now. Fortunately, this is always available. Oh no, I do want I do want fonts. I I click on that all the time, um, and I have to go up into the window to pull it down. Yeah, that's a big one. I'm gonna put another space there too. Actually, there we go. Fonts will be all by itself. Okay, that's a big one because fonts uh, doesn't reside in one of these panels on the side. Things like line weights fill, that kind of stuff, all sits over here in one of these panels. Fonts is not. Fonts is in a separate window. You do have to go up to Windows and, and pull down fonts, or uh, uh, text, I think. So I'm gonna make that shortcut there for sure. So, okay, there we go, done. There we go. So now I got my default tools, I got my alignment tools, which I use all the time, and then I have a button, quickly pull up fonts. Perfect, love that. Um, I mentioned shortcuts, so let's just touch on shortcuts real quick. Uh, if I go into settings, this is in a different spot depending if you're Windows or Mac, um, but if you pull up settings, there we go, uh, towards the bottom is shortcuts. If you click on the shortcuts tab, this works just like in SketchUp. It's going to give you a list of all the commands and then any commands that have a shortcut assigned to them, they'll be shown here to the side. Some of these are already set up. What, what I would, here's the thing that I would say. I would say as much as possible, I want my commands in here to line up with my commands in SketchUp. So here's a handful of them. So to get into my select, it's space, just like SketchUp. Eraser is E, line is L, arc is A, 
rectangle is R, circle is C, off says F. So a lot of these are already set up just the way I would expect them to be, but not all of them. So scale, which is something I would use, that letter S is assigned to pick style. So that's okay, but I don't want it that way. I want, to, I want, to, I want S to be scale. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna type scale. I could scroll to it, but tools, scale, and then I'm gonna put S. It tells me that that's already assigned to something else. We just saw that. That's okay. I want to replace it. I want scale to be S. Love it. Good to go. Um, I can check other other tools. So if I want to see what move is, tools move. Okay, I better put that on there. M. Oops. I hit enter. Just type M. Type the letter. That's all I got to do. Um, all right. So now I got my. I know I got scale. I got. Oh, let's see. Rotate. What's ro rotate set to? Rotate's a tricky one because in SketchUp, rotate, which you would think is an R, is an R because rectangles are. So if we move down the letter, O, well, O is orbit. T, so all the letters in rotate are actually used. So Q is the default shortcut tool for rotate because it looks like a compass, I guess. You know, that little Q. Uh, there's no rotate, no Q in rotate. We realize that. We can read that, but uh, yeah, it's a good one. All right. So there we go, Root, rotate, set to Q, cool. Now I got my shortcut key set up, I got my button set up. The other thing I wanna spend time on is my panels. So panels are awesome. I, I mean, what a great way to see information and uh, you know have, have a bunch of data or, or tools available right at my fingertips. Now this is gonna work a little bit different in Windows versus Mac, but it's really more about which panels are visible and where they are. So I work, generally speaking, on a letter size page. So the stuff that I've created and output has all been something I can print on my home printer. It's all like this. So that leaves me with these big gray spots on either side when I'm zoomed out. So what I wanna do is I wanna set up two sets of panels, one on either side. Uh, this side, uh, I'm gonna have my information panels and this side over here, I'm gonna have my properties panels. What does that mean? Well, so that means on this side, I wanna have stuff like my SketchUp model, scale drawing, yeah, that makes sense. Um, and then I also want maybe my pages and layers and scrapbooks. So those are the things I want on this side. So we go like that. So here are my pages, or, or my, my, yes, that's what I want. I want that. And then over here, that means I can have, right, so shape style, I probably use the most. I tend to order these in the direction that I'm gonna work the most. So I'm gonna, what's at the top? So I would probably say shape style, then dimensions, then pattern fill are probably the order in which I'm most likely to hit these panels. So I'm gonna go like that. This one, I'm hovering out just slightly from the edge because I wanna still have access to my scroll bar. Um, the other thing I could do is I could take this window and slide it in like this a little bit and then slide this out, but I don't like that. I don't like the way that looks. I want this snug against the side and I'd rather drag my toolbar in a little bit. That way I can get to this. This one on the left side doesn't have something over there, so I can just plop that all the way against the left. Um, so there we go. Um, I think that's it. I think that's everything I want. So now to review, I got my buttons at the top. They're the buttons I use the most often, customized plus the defaults. I have my shortcut keys, so if I wanna hit uh, M, I hop into move, Q brings me to rotate, perfect. My shortcuts are set up. My tool panels on both sides are ready to go. I'm ready to start modeling. No, I'm start ready to start creating documents in layout. So I realized some of that was subjective. Some of that was my opinion. And I also understand that I did this on Mac and the function, the actual way to edit like a tab bar is different from dragging floating panels. I get that. And I apologize. Hopefully that didn't cause confusion or anything. But the most important thing that I wanted to do is have this set up in such a way that when I come into layout, I'm not hunting and pecking, which is what I feel like I do now. When I go into layout, I don't feel like I'm ready to boom, let's start working on a document. I feel like I'm going, okay, where's that icon? Uh, I want to move something. M, no, M's not hooked up. Go click the button. And it doesn't 
work for me. And I think for me, that's one of the things that's preventing me from getting into layout and doing more is I have this broken connection between the way I'm just hopping and start designing in SketchUp and the things I trip over when I get into layout. So if you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Is there things in layout that you find yourself tripping on? Is there a specific thing or two that prevents you from getting more out of layout? I'd love to hear about that because uh, maybe we can help with that. Maybe I can make a video about that or suggest that to somebody. Uh, we like making these videos a lot. We like them even more if they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.